vSphere 4.1 ESXi Lockdown Mode is a great way to increase security on your ESXi servers and it is indeed one of the best practice recommendations from VMware. With ESXi Lockdown Mode, all operations performed on the ESXi server must be performed through vCenter. In other words, only the VPX user, which is the special user that vCenter uses to administer ESXi servers, only that user can make configurations and administer your ESXi servers. What this means is that you won't be able to connect to an ESXi server directly with the vSphere client, nor will you be able to perform PowerCLI, vCLI, or Vima scripts on the ESXi host directly. Now, you can still perform those types of scripts on the vCenter server and have it configure the ESXi server, but you cannot go directly to an ESXi server for administration and configuration. Now, you can still log on to the console using the root user account, but all other configuration must be done through the vCenter server. You should note that ESXi Lockdown Mode is only available if that ESXi server is joined to the vCenter server, so you can't configure Lockdown Mode on a standalone ESXi server. Now, optionally, you can configure what they call total host lockdown by disabling the DCUI, or the Direct Console User Interface, on an ESXi server. This is done from vCenter, and what this means is that you won't even be able to log into the console with the root user. Basically, there is no more console on that ESXi server, and it has to be configured and administered completely from the vCenter server. Now, that total lockdown mode is only recommended for highly secure shops that require the absolute greatest security possible. And then keep in mind that for regular lockdown mode, you can easily disable that, perform some sort of troubleshooting, and then re-enable it later. It's not something that you're stuck in for the long term. Now, there's three different ways to enable lockdown mode. The first one is to do it from vCenter directly. You can also enable lockdown mode from the console of an ESXi server once it's already joined to vCenter. And then third, you can enable lockdown mode using host profiles. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how to configure vSphere 4.1 ESXi lockdown mode. Now initially I'll start here on the console of this ESXi version 4.1 server. I'll press F2 to log in. I'll type the root username and password. And then I'll go down one to configure lockdown mode. I'll press enter on that. And then all I have to do here is press space to check enable lockdown mode. Once I press enter, lockdown mode is enabled and I won't be able to connect directly to this ESXi server using the vSphere client. Now let me show you two other ways. If we disable that, let's go over to the vSphere client. And then what we'll do here is to add a new ESXi server. So I'll add our new server, ESX2. And then we'll be prompted for lockdown mode. So this is the second way that you can configure lockdown mode and it only occurs when you're adding a new ESX server to vCenter. But let's say that our ESXi server is already added and we didn't enable lockdown mode. With the host added, if I select the host and then go into configuration and then down to security profile underneath software. This is where I can configure lockdown mode right here inside vSphere. If I click edit, all I have to do is check right here and say OK that I want to enable lockdown mode you can see now that it's enabled, if I were to try to connect to this ESX server directly using the vSphere client, my connection would be denied. Let me show you how this works. If I start the vSphere client, connect directly to ESX2, log in as root. Here I'm told that I do not have permission to log into the server ESX2, and that's even though I'm the root user, which normally would have absolute control. So that proves that lockdown mode works. And now let me show you how to take it one step further by disabling the direct console user interface that's the console of an ESXi server, unless you have your vCenter host. So to create total lockdown mode, what I'm going to do is to go into the security profile right here, into the properties. I'm going to select the direct console user interface. I'll go into options. I'm going to set the startup policy to start and stop manually. I'll go ahead and click stop on it. Again, I'll make sure that it's set to start and stop manually. I'll say OK there. Notice the DCUI is now stopped if we say OK. And now let's go to the console of the server. And here I am on the console. If I press F2, notice that it says authentication is denied. Direct console access has been disabled by the administrator. That means you're not even going to be able to log in as root on this ESXi server. Total lockdown mode is in effect. 
So that's vCR 4.1 ESXi lockdown mode. As you can see, it increases security, and that's why it's a best practice. It forces all operations to be performed through vCenter, which means you cannot connect directly to an ESXi server using the vSphere client. Also, you can't run any PowerCLI, vCLI, or Vima scripts directly on the ESXi server. Again, it all has to go through vCenter because vCenter is going to be your centralized point for security and control. Now you can still log on to the console using the root user account unless you enable total host lockdown by disabling the DCUI. Now there's three different ways to enable lockdown mode and that is to do it directly on an ESXi host using the DCUI. Again, that host must be already added to the vCenter server. You could do it on vCenter. You could even do it when you add an ESXi server to vCenter. And then finally you can do it using host profiles. Thanks for watching this video covering vSphere 4.1 ESXi Lockdown Mode.